Yo, what's good, everyone? It's me again, and welcome back to Faith, the Unholy Trinity. For the third time, this should be, as you can tell, I changed the little sides to be something a little more freaky to represent the chapter we just beat. So, uh, let's let's just get into chapter two, I guess. Um, last time in chapter one, you should probably go watch those two episodes on your own. They were pretty fun for me to record, pretty fun for me to edit. And overall, I feel like this series is going to be really good. If you haven't seen them already, you probably should. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. Oh, we're in like a bathroom. Ooh, I'm gray now. That's interesting. Ooh, reflections. Oh, I have a I have a cross. Again, but this time it's made of wood. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davis from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davis have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation and return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Guilford. Weird. Is that a Bible? Hold on, can I take that with me? I need that Bible. Give me the Bible. <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't look like we can get it because it's on the bed. Can't do anything with these doors. Okay, we're gonna, again going to try to point the cross at random things. You never know. You never know. One day. Okay. So, wait. It's one day. It's one day. Still pointing my cross at everything. I'm sorry. Uh, two weeks? Is that the same guy? Three months. the hell all right editing me pull up all the pictures like put them on screen oh that's that's gross that's really gross ah uh, who is that oh okay let's go down maybe one of these photos is possessed just saying, just trying, just trying, just trying. How are we doing today, my dude? I want to talk to him. You talk to who not do you get better, my dude? Can I see mommy and daddy? I need to make you better first. Let's go see what you can tell me. I'll tell you. Oh wait, do I do I want to do that? Is is that a good idea? What's happening to Michael? Wait, okay, so this thing is Michael. Is this the is this the the Michael from the photos? Like the one we just saw? Okay, wait, before we do that, let me try exercising other things in this room. Uh, I'm staying away from him, though. Okay, I think our only option here is just to exercise him, so that's what we'll do. Oh, no. We're gonna stand far back. No. He left! He went up the stairs! Oh, hell no, bro. This is not the type of game I should be playing at night, huh? He took the, the three months photo. It's one day, two months, and three... No, one day, two weeks. Oh, I 
Well said. Oh god, I I wasn't even controlling that. Oh my, oh my god, my my steam achievements are finally showing. Oh my god, thank god. It's too. Yeah. Wait, is this? Is this John? Have you forgotten already? Then. The notes people leave behind seem to exist on the edges of memory. Pressing escape key or the start button is a good way. Mm, okay. So... I don't know why I tried putting my cross at that. Are we playing as John again? Oh... Oh no, nah, bro. Oh no. Nah. Notice Arviso. The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surroundings, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. I can't be too loud or start screaming to this episode because <laughs> uh, my family's asleep and I'm awake at, what time is it right now? Damn, it's late. Oh, hell no. Wait, let me out. Okay, wait. I'm awake at whatever time I am right now playing Fade. I'm just going to assume one of these is possessed. Or that tree is. Oh, it's this one. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. The devil, bro. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's go back up. Dearest disciple, ver ilifi, ver verify, ver ilifi, I don't know. Not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall, da dash, thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable return to save family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Gary. Oh, is this like the same one from the beginning? Like, it's like, Gary loves you? No, I don't believe any of what that said in that note. I'm gonna be for real. Enter the spirit house. I'm done. We out. <laughs> oh, hell no. We're not doing that. I'm assuming we're still playing as John, but I don't know. That scared me so bad for no reason. Oh my god. Again about that whole Michael thing. That Oh, that scared me so bad. Okay. Hi. Hi. What? What just? As long as y'all don't stand up and try to touch me. Okay, well we have the key now. I don't know why I smiled like that in the mirror. That was weird. Don't I have the key for that? Can we go anywhere around here? Oh wait, the the, the, the gates on the sides opened. Okay. I don't know how long this chapter is gonna be. Might have to split it off into oh. Might have to split it off into other chunks.
It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Marie Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40, devoted husband and wife and, belo and beloved parents. Their lives tragically come, come, came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was training. Bob was a training advisor for the United States Navy, and Sydney was a CPA, and more recently, a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12, 1996, 1969, in Walloontown. Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. A public closed casket memorial will be held at. Tillingas Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial services will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and the twin boys Nate and Jason. Amy? Nate and Jason? Nah, those are the kids from chapter 1. So their parents died? Isn't Amy like possessed or did we like get rid of that in chapter one? Huh? I mean, we're moving. Okay. Yeah, at least we did something. Part of me was hoping we'd go through that wall. Alright, and we go back. Is that more far back, or is that just me? Did this thing go more far back, or is that... What? What? Bro. What was that? What were those footsteps, bro? Oh, nah. <laughs> bro. Stay away from me, demon. Oh, my God. What even is that thing? And I spawned all the way back here. Look how they follow you. What even is that demon, bro? Oh, it's a really ugly design. I'm unending. He like, he like dances around. Ain't that just cool? Oh, I'm not gonna corner myself. Oh my god, bro. How many times are we gonna see that screen? Blasted G. Whoa, what? Damn lizard looking thing, bro. That's a nasty design. I'm surprised he didn't get me right there. Okay, he's coming from the top of the sign. We're gonna do this whole little loop around thingy. Oh my god, the cross is in my way. No way that gets me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Where are you gonna come from now? Oh, he's doing his little zigzag pattern again. Oh, 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 oh. Please be dead. Let's go. Stupid demon. It was too easy. What am I telling you, bro? These, these demons ain't no match for me. Because I got God with me, and that's all I need. Is Michael, like, the demon that Michael was, was he, like, the demon from Chapter 1? That thing running loosey-goosey around the forest? Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant, not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the body, the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor. Her smile was big as as big as ever. 
but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and I was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. And that's when I met Gary. Who is writing that? And who is Gary? Because of what Gary wrote on like the note, I assume that Gary is a not nice person. He seems really mean. Oh hell no bro, I have a feeling these statues are gonna start moving. Okay, we can go up or down. Vote in the comments right now. Do we go up or down? Alright, we'll see the results shortly. Okay, it seemed like a majority of y'all have chosen me to go down. Whoa. Alright. Oh. Yeah, y'all made the wrong choice. Okay, okay, I see how it's attacking. We can't get it while it's in its fog. I see it. I just don't know where it's gonna run off to next. Okay, we're just gonna stay here and have our cross out. Oh. Wait, we can hit it while it's in its little house. God, I almost st stepped in there. Ooh. Clutch games, bro. That was too easy. I'm telling you, bro. These demons are no match for me. This is, this is an episode jam-packed full of fights, bro. We finding these demons. Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I could ever, ex I have ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, "Would you like to see your grandfather again?" I missed him so much. I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friends' house. They took me down to the basement where. I I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have, I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. What the hell? What type of stuff are your stepmom friends getting you into? Oh, hell no, bro. I'm gonna pick one of, one of three, one of four directions, but really one of three. We're gonna pick one of three. And let's just go to this one. do with this only one of them is missing no I mean only one of them is left there's four skulls with only two of them lighting up there's only one of these people left that guy isn't missing his head it's locked we 
thing. So this is like some sort of puzzle, I'm assuming. Oh! Oh wait, these statues could be pointing at directions, I just realized. Okay, if we follow them from left to right. It's right, up, left, up. something like that but it definitely have to do something with those statues I know down is in a direction because down just takes you back oh there we go oh okay this demon I don't I actually don't like this one it's teleporting. Stop. Stop doing that. Stop. Stop. That demon does not have a very funny looking design. I don't like that one. Not at all. But whatever. I think that's three out of three. Because I think like they symbolize like, the people in. In like the, the room we were in. You know? I've been free. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day, by my body withers away. But by night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge. Guided by beings of pure darkness, I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five first at the top left point and then down i will lure them into the woods then i will show them my power bro shut up who wants to hear from you well i mean i'm glad we found out this whole statues thing oh yeah that statue changed that statue was not like that Okay, it looks like we need one more. Wait. Is that me in the...